Throughout chapter 3 in Romulus My Father, there are distinct language techniques used specifically to encapsulate the feelings of belonging or not belonging. Pathetic fallacy is the use of nature to attribute human emotions and traits. The technique pathetic fallacy was used conspicuously to delineate the feelings of not belonging through the line, the herringbone leaves evoke the colours of the colder climate. This line sufficiently epitomises the feeling of not belonging, as the colder climate represents feelings of isolation or oppression. Moreover, the language technique of symbolism is also prominent throughout the chapter. Symbolism is the use or practice of using a word to represent an abstract idea. This can be seen through the line, a dead red gum tree stood only 100 metres from the house and became for mother a symbol of her desolation. This line clearly demonstrates the technique of symbolism and further illustrates the clear feelings that Gator's mother fulfills of not belonging. Within chapter 3 of Raymond Gator's memoir, his mother is significantly portrayed by the use of literary techniques and the way in which Gator profoundly uses them to represent belonging and not belonging to portray the message of a character. Within paragraph 3, Gator uses symbolism within the interaction of his father when he sees a snake. Fire is used to symbolise pain and struggle of a refugee present within a different landscape of rural Victoria. Symbolism is a quality in which the icon is placed into the foreground to represent a key idea or trait within the medium. Such occurrence can be seen throughout Monsters Inc. where the big blue monster, James Sullivan, has the missing piece of the door to visit his companion, Boo. Mike? Is that... Sorry it took so long, pal. It was a lot of wood to go through. You know, it only works if you have every piece. Repetition is also used to characterise his mother, as she is spotted within a 200 metre distance from his home. The idea of fragility is portrayed throughout his mother as she returns from hospital, as Raymond sees her being alone, small and frail. Repetition is simply used as a set of words or phrases to deliver a quality or idea within a medium. And such examples include Imagine, Dra Imagine Dragons Radioactive, which uses repetition within its song, repeating the phrase, Welcome to the New Age show its importance within the poetic form. Juxtaposition is a technique where things or characters are placed side by side, usually for a contrasting effect. There is ironic juxtaposition between Hora and Christina, where she calls him a swine, whereas in fact that it's Hora who presents noble qualities, whereas Christina lives a lustful life. When analyzing these texts, look for contrasting ideas in the book, such as the theme of disconnection faced by Romulus, whereas Raymond is able to include, be included in the Australian society. This can be seen in the scene where a child is being baptised while murders are occurring in the background. Allegory or connotation is a recurring theme in the book where certain words or scenes are put together and they're quite symbolic or something. An example of this is, but you must not lie. That is worse than any damage you might do, which symbolizes the value of truthfulness, which Romulus tries to instill in his son. This can be shown through the overarching theme or certain context within a story, such as the character's background. An example can be seen as Pandora's damage can be symbolized through human actions towards the actual Amazon rainforest. The sympathetic relationships of familial connections articulated throughout chapter 4 evokes a wider perspective upon the idea of a unified connection. This is portrayed by a medium of the absence as well as the presence of family figures, along with the animal companions that manifest the gap of these family bonds by the appearance of conflict. 
Raymond Gator adopts a variety of language forms and features to illustrate this. As a manifestation of comfort and unity, the companion is emphasized by a personified characterization of Dog Olaf. As is depicted by, he comforted me in my sorrow and gave me a sense of security when I was afraid. This depiction of the dog aims to convey the idea of a relationship between an animal companion as it conveys the insecurities of Raymond and the empathy received in place of his family or figures throughout the memoir. The absence of a motherly figure creates a dysfunction in the greater relationships that are fairly centered, as it is conveyed by repetition and tone, as they quarreled and they quarreled again at Frogmore, creates a tone of conflict as the repetition denotes the intensity in the relationship. This sense of tone foreshadows the idea of dysfunctionality in an accident. Foreshadowing is used as a literary device to predict the outcome of events as following through. In the memoir, Romulus is left in an accident, leaving him absent as a fatherly figure to Raymond. However, the reappearance of a father figure is placed by horror. From this, a contrasting juxtaposition of the absence and presence of feminine figures as just a verse between horror's dedication and Christine's neglect to her son and the motherly duties as it expresses the presence of familial care, develops greater connections in the family, while the negligence demonstrates the dysfunction and conflict in the family environment. She did nothing to help or care for me. He did everything. This just opposes the neglect and care.